your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Starting out your Friday morning much colder than we did yesterday. In fact, we've fallen below that freezing mark here in Abilene. It's 31 degrees right now, so be sure to bundle up before heading out the door. Temperatures today going to stay about 10 to 15 degrees below average for this time of year. Combine that with a strong northeasterly wind or breezy at times, rather. It's going to feel even colder than that, only making it to the mid 40s today. Saturday, we're going to see even colder temperatures move in with mostly cloudy skies, highs staying in the 30s. We'll start seeing a brief warming trend heading into Sunday. Back into the 40s again, we'll see a small chance for rain start to move in. Heading into early Monday morning, Morning, but skies will clear heading into the last day of 2018. We're going to see a very brief warm up temperatures returning to seasonal averages before our next cold front moves in Monday evening. And that's really going to send temperatures plummeting into the first day of 2019 and keeping us pretty chilly as we head through the first few days of the new year. Now I mentioned Sunday we will start to see a chance for rain move in. This is early Saturday morning. We're going to start to see some snow extend all the way from El Paso up towards the Panhandle. In fact, they already have some winter weather advisories that will go into effect for that area of the state into Saturday, but a few flurries could make their way as far west as the Permian Basin, but I think we're all going to stay dry across the big country. No snowflakes to worry about on Saturday. It's Sunday as we'll start to see a chance for rain move in. This is later in the evening. We should stay dry most of the day, but we'll be under mostly cloudy to cloudy skies. That chance for rain will start to move in as we head into the overnight Sunday night into Monday morning. Now we're going to watch closely up those air temperatures. Some of those could get pretty close to that freezing mark, and if they do, it's possible we'll see a little bit of very, very light freezing rain out there for some of us. But good news is we're not worried about any widespread travel impact, so if we do see anything out there, it's all going to melt or at least not affect any travel for Monday morning. And as we head towards those Monday morning hours, we'll still be left with that cloud cover, but that rain chance will be moving out of here. So just a very small 20% chance for mainly points from about Robert Lee, Sweetwater here through Abilene up towards Breckenridge and Throckmorton off to the southeast. Brownwood through the Heartland has a better chance for rain. And just be aware that we might wake up to a little bit of light freezing rain by Monday morning. But again, it won't be enough to cause any travel problems, so don't worry about it at all if we see any freezing rain at that. This morning, we're just starting out very cold. In fact, we're actually seeing a few 20s off to the northwest. Factor in that wind chill this morning, it feels like the teens out in Snyder. So you want to bundle up before heading out the door. By lunchtime, temperatures will make it to around 40 degrees across the region. Plenty of sunshine through the day. That'll be the good news, but it definitely won't feel very warm out there with afternoon highs only making it into the mid 40s across most to the region 43 for a high here in Abilene could see occasional gusts to 20 miles per hour as we head into the overnight still could make that 27 degree low feel more like the lower 20s possibly even the upper teens as we head into Saturday especially off to the west where overnight lows are going to fall into the mid possibly even lower 20s out there in a few isolated locations but this is just the beginning of our latest cold snap as that coldest of our air is coming tomorrow at least for this weekend with that small chance for rain on Sunday a brief warm up moves in for the last day of the year. Check out some of these overnight lows, especially after that first day of 2019. 23 degrees heading into next Wednesday morning, so keep that jacket handy. You're going to want it. I'm not liking <laughs> seeing those 20 degree weather. I don't Grant. either. You know, this is actually climatologically the coldest time of the year, so we're almost kind of on that up peak here in a little bit. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. And our 